Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake, and this is your weekly update coming at you right now. Again, we're in our new studio, and I'm loving this, Jake. A little bit darker than last week. A little bit, trying out different looks uh, in the room. Different ambiances. Ambiances, that's good, that's good. Hey, you know what's coming up this Sunday, don't you? Church. Church, that too. Daylight savings time. Actually, Edward, that comes... uh, Early Sunday morning, it does. Like it does. Two o'clock in the morning. So it is. It's the fall. Yeah. And so that means we fall back. That means Saturday night before you go to bed, mm-hmm. make sure you set your clocks back. Otherwise, you're going to be an hour early for yep. church, and that means Jake will put you to work if you get here an hour. No, they'll early. be an hour late. Well, they've been we're early. falling back. Well, they've been an hour early, man. We just had this you, talk. We I just, know. And Andrew and, said it would. You would be late. No, you'd be early. No, because if you don't go back to 1 o'clock, you're going to think it's 2 o'clock. Heck, I don't know. Just get up at 2 o'clock in the clocks morning. Back. Set no, your clocks get back. Get up at That's 2 o'clock in the morning and set your clock back to 1. Or buy an iPhone. It'll do it for you. It, it will do it for you. It will do it for you. Also, we want to let you know this Sunday uh, that um, Jake and his team of First Impressions. Let me, let me tell them who that team is. Yeah, do it. So myself, Woody K. Rogers, and Ann Dumond. We are going to be having, uh, and we're, we're going to try to do this once a year moving forward. We're going to be feeding lunch to all of our current First Impressions volunteers and everybody that has expressed an interest in signing up to serve on First, first Impressions. That's good. Feed you lunch, and then I'm going to be casting a vision for what First Impressions is going to look like moving forward. And then Woody K and Ann, who both have vast experiences in other churches yes, of leading these types of ministries, they're going to actually be doing a little bit of teaching around roles and responsibilities and kind of what that looks like for us moving forward. So we're excited about that. we got about 45 to 48 people that have already RSVP'd to that. And cool. so if you're one of those people that signed up, you haven't uh, RSVP'd to me yet, uh, do that this week so I know you're coming. You know, it's so important. I, I had somebody share with me recently that they met somebody that had been visiting our church for mm-hmm. three weeks, and they went up and greeted them, and just this person who had been visiting our church said, you're the first person that said anything to us wow. in three weeks. It floored me. Yeah. Um, because I thought, no. But listen, some this is why first impressions are so important whether you serve on this or not, is that we're looking around and, and we're greeting people and loving on people. I even thought, Jake, about maybe this Sunday taking five minutes and do a meet and greet. During oh, the remember, I don't know those? About that. remember those? I do remember that. Yeah. Half our church just decided to stay know, home this Sunday. I'm not going to do it. I, yeah. I was just thinking about it this morning yeah. because there was a reason we did that back in the day because yeah. we were wanting people not to forget there's new people yep. and just looking around because we're easy to get comfortable in that. And and I, we only get one shot to make a first impression. That's right. And, and that's why we call that first impression. So I'm super proud of, of this team that he's put together and uh, we're, we're excited about that. Also coming up, a couple of things for Christmas. In two weeks, we're getting angel tree. Uh, yeah, we'll have our angel trees. Hawkins Helping Hand identifies families. They have families that sign up through them. And then they divvy those up between the area churches. So we'll have an opportunity here in a couple of weeks on a Sunday morning for you to pick up uh, an angel, which is basically it's a it's a child in our community that has a wish list of three items. Yeah. You you adopt that child, or you can do multiple. You buy the three things that are on the list. You bring it back. We take that back to Hawkins Helping Hands. And then the parents of those children pick those up, and they either put them under the tree or give them as presents yeah. from the parents. And I love, I love that you guys. You always just respond overwhelmingly mm-hmm. to this, and uh, thank you for doing that. But that'll be two weeks from now. Also, I don't think it's too early to mention this year, Jake. Christmas Eve falls on Sunday. That's right. Sunday and, morning, Christmas Eve service on Sunday morning. And so we're going to do one service on Christmas Eve, and I wanted to let you know about this now because uh, I know 
a lot of people love that evening service on Christmas Eve, but since it falls on Sunday this year, we're not going to do a Sunday morning service and come back and do a Sunday night service. We're going to do a Sunday morning Christmas Eve service uh, at 10 a.m., and that's going to be the service that we have, and then uh, we're going to turn everybody loose to go enjoy their family for the rest of the day on yep. Christmas Eve. I know Miss Ashley in the Kid Venture area, she's talking about doing a pajama Sunday. They're going to do like a pajama on party Sunday. Sunday on that Sunday. Uh-huh. I'm thinking about coming in pajamas. I pray you don't. It's going to be a fun Sunday. Yeah. When, when does that become inappropriate? How come kids can wear pajamas? But what, What's that age gap where you're just not allowed to go in public you're, in pajamas anymore? Let's just say anymore? you're past it. Okay. That's all I would say about okay. that. You're past well, it. I never got the memo. Um, well, you're you're getting it now. Okay, is what I would say. So anyway, make plans for that. We just we want to let you know. I know you guys plan for that, and um, it, it it's just it's yeah, that's it's what be good. we're doing this year. Also on November the twelfth, you do not want to miss November the twelfth. Uh, there's a lot of things happening on that Sunday, but one of the things we're going to do is we're going to be meeting together for the capital campaign update, <clears> kind of <throat> where we are. Uh, it's a chance for you guys to find out where we are. It's a chance for us to find out where you are. Yeah. Uh, we're, so far, it's the generosity has been off the chain. Uh, you'll hear more about that on the 12th. And so thank you for those of you who have already given. Uh, and for you that are going to give, that'll give us a chance to kind of talk about that. If you don't have a clue what's going on. Then come uh, November 12th. Come November 12th. Find out about the capital campaign because it's, it's exciting that we'll get to redo this room and mm. do some things around here, uh, even the maglock security system. Uh, we had a situation Sunday morning that that yeah. would have kicked in had we had that. That would have been good. And uh, So that's just one of those things that we see, and a lot of you guys don't even know what happened Sunday. It's not That's that's why we have safety, and that's why we have the things that we have in place uh, so that people don't know what's going on when something is happening, uh, that we can protect kids and take care of kids. Can so, I say something real quick? Yeah. If I'm too old to wear pajamas... You are certainly too old to be using the phrase off the chain. You said it's it's off the chain. That's that's not a phrase you need to be using. Maybe. And then, there, you know, some of us are still cool. So let me mention one more thing. Um, I'll let them decide which okay. one of us are. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, I said something from the stage that I kind of just wanted to clarify because uh, I've had actually had someone reach out to me and ask if they can partner with us mm. on our backpack program. And I, I made a comment. I was excited. You know how I get when I do that, Jake. Yeah. Sometimes I get excited and um, I will yeah. say flamboyant things. Yeah. And, um, just really, I wanted to clarify our backpack program because I gave the impression that we only feed kids in the kindergarten and first grade, and that if we could, we would feed the whole elementary. Well, Jake corrected me on that. We actually do feed the whole elementary because we get a list from those kids from the administration that let us know uh, who those kids are and who those kids that have permission from their parents. The parents have to jump through some hoops as well, not our hoops, yeah, we the don't. school uh, mm-hmm. from a need standpoint. And so every kid from kindergarten to fifth grade, through fifth that grade, right? Through right fifth grade right. that the school has identified you're providing for. And so I wanted to clarify that so there's no confusion because mm-hmm. uh, I didn't know that until Jake corrected me. Edward, there's me. a lot of things we don't keep you in the loop on. And that's that's okay. We got this, man. That's okay. We Not- want you focused on hearing from the Lord and preaching God's Word and developing the staff. Oh, well. And you are one of the best leadership developers I've ever sat under. And so that's what we want you doing. So all this other stuff we try to take care of without you. Yeah. But I understand front you from the stage. So I got to let you in on some stuff that I probably don't let you in on. A little bit, yeah. yeah. So somebody's knocking at the studio door because we don't have a lot out yeah. there. So uh, that's pretty much what we have for this week. We love you. Share this on your platforms. And uh, we hope to see you this Sunday. If it's Sunday morning, we are so glad you're here on Daylight Savings Time. Hey, Summit, we love you. We'll see you Sunday.